So, time for a tube fly again. Uh, this time it's uh, the Scandinavian tube Patagorva. Uh, that is a pattern. If I had to choose just one fly to uh, fish with, I could not use anything else. That would be the one. So let's start tying. So, let's start uh, with this bad boy then. Uh, Fluorofiber orange. Uh, Orange, sorry, like a Swedish pronunciation there. Uh, so, just gonna do a simple tail, nothing fancy. So, just tying that one in, a few wraps. Tie it in a bit more. Just fold back and tie over again. Something like that. Don't need to be that beautiful. There's the fiber there that I don't like. So I cut it off. Body. So I'm gonna go quite light. And use some sparkle. Removing the box there so I don't blend the colors. And of course, you can do it in dark versions or lighter versions depending on the, the weather. You can have like peacock curl over the wing, etc. It's a huge amount of variations up to you really then I just gonna go with the plain wing today so we see how this lights up the whole fly some nice attractions so I'm just gonna take a bit more Take everything that's on the desk as well, and then just tie it in. So I'm gonna stop there. I always cut the fly in the front when I'm done. So I go with the orange jacket just to get some color in there. Just gonna wax the thread first though. Here you can play around, choosing the color you like. Light orange, dark orange, brown, yeah, whatever. So just securing it a few wraps. Cutting the leftovers. There we go. And then just fold the hackle backwards. I notice I have a fiber pointing forward as well. in the vein. So I'm just gonna use the whole feather here.
just tying it in. Cut the stem. That's the fiber I want to remove. There we are. So, I always take a section of, yeah, I'm just gonna remove that as well. Uh, polar bear. I like that material as an underwing. bit stiffer so I just remove the longest fibers and all the wool so there we are so I just match the wing there just go over with the thread two times and then Use the thumb to move it around a bit, flatten it. There we are. So I'm just gonna cut that front. Removing all the fibers, all the leftover hairs. Uh, so next step, I'm just gonna add a section of uh, fox. In the, yeah, the Patagorba color, brown red. didn't have any short hair so I'm just gonna shorten it myself and removing the underwood something like that same here two wraps and just press it out and then securing it and then I just cut the leftovers here in the front there you go so I'm gonna add some flash just a few strands Same on my side. The flash is a bit, uh, yeah, messy, but it doesn't matter. It's soft, so it will look good in the water. So, a section more. Of the fox so let me see what I got got a few pieces here that one will be good for the last section of the wing but before that I'm gonna add the hackle I go with the black today, black front tackle. <laughs> I 
<clears throat> I'm gonna do my live video after this one, continuing on the Jungle Dawn. So, a bit of wax first, just to make sure it sticks properly to the tube. on the side <clears throat> starting to look like a fly and now on the on the the back of the tube I always use a tube uh, rubber tube where the hook sits uh, so in this case I would choose like fluorescent orange or something or just black whatever so I'm just gonna add the yeast in you're gonna find a huge amount of variation of this one uh, but th this is how I tie it so I just cut off this section and then let's make sure I don't tie in any fibers just gonna wax the thread. Then just secure it. And then it's a varnish time. go I use normal varnish 
my glues. So I'm going to do this a few times, then uh, do it with black varnish as well, and then the fly is uh, ready. But that's how I do my patagorvas. So when it's done, I take a picture and add after this one. So. That's how I tie the Patagorva uh, great fishing fly if you're uh, using uh, tubes. Uh, so give it a try. Um, yeah, have a continuous uh, nice week and, and uh, see you in the next video. Bye.